Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be doing a current favorites video because I don't think I've ever done one of these on my channel and I just wanna do one. So I'm gonna do one. <laughs> I'm not gonna ramble. We're gonna jump into the video. I don't have a lot, but I figured why not just show you anyways. So I think we're gonna start with fashion favorites first. I think I only have like two, two things two, three things, I don't know. So my first fashion favorite is definitely these Vans, these pink Vans, I'm obsessed. I love Vans and I love the color pink. So it's like, these are perfect for summer. I'm gonna be wearing these a lot. I got these actually last year for my birthday um, and didn't really wear them that much, but this year I'm definitely getting the use out of them. So comfortable, you can literally throw these on with like any outfit and they look good. So yeah, I am obsessed with these guys right here. They're so cute, I love them. My next favorite is actually just this Betsy Johnson dress. It's so pretty. I actually thrifted this um, last year sometime and kind of just forgot about it in my closet. And the other day I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I need to wear that more often. Why am I not wearing it? Now that the weather is finally, you know, getting warmer, I am obsessed with wearing dresses just because it's so easy. You don't have to like worry about matching two items. You can just throw a dress on and be like, good to go, out the door, you're good, you know? So my first beauty favorite is definitely this Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. I love this, I wear it all the time, I'm wearing it right now. This is definitely like my go-to shade. Um, it's not too light, but it's also not too dark. It's like that perfect mauve color. Also, they're like, dollars I think like they're very very cheap perfect they stay on pretty much all day I don't even think I said the name of it it is in the shade rebel rose so pretty you need to go pick this up it's at Walmart drugstores anywhere go get it my next favorite has been something that I've had for a while now but I kind of stopped using it because I just kind of I don't know I just kind of forgot about it and started going on to newer things basically I have been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade so much lately. This is all I've been using for my eyebrows. And I forgot how much I love this. Like, it's so good. Um, I am in the shade, well, I use the shade, what is this? Ebony. I used to use this when I had like black hair. So, and I just haven't went to go get a new shade. But honestly, I think it kind of works. I just use it with a very light hand, so yeah. This is very good, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about these. If you haven't already tried this, you definitely need to go try it like right now because it is amazing. My earrings are just like, whoop, going everywhere. <laughs> so, my next favorite, I'm actually wearing them, but this is the box. <laughs> so it's just these lashes that I'm wearing right now. These are like my go-to lashes because they're not too crazy, but they're not super natural at the same time. They're just perfect. Um, this is by the brand, I know I'm going to say it wrong, <laughs> Espoir, Espoir, I don't know. Anyways, they will be linked down below, go check them out. Um, but yeah, amazing lashes, I literally have so many pairs and they're just perfect. You know when you find that perfect lash and you're like, yes, yes. This is that lash for me, these, oh, these are in the style Femme Fatale. I love these. They have so many, but these are my favorite. So my next favorite is actually this L'Oreal Paris liquid eyeliner. This is so good. I literally will not use like any other liquid eyeliner because this liner is so good. It is a um, like felt tip. I just feel like you can get like a really precise line with this. I know a lot of liners I've tried in the past will like flake off throughout the day and it's just not cute. We don't want that. We want this. I think this is my last beauty favorites labeled as a shimmer stick but it's basically like a cream highlighter I honestly don't know exactly where I got this it's the brand sugar box face I've, I've honestly never heard of that brand but I believe I got this off Amazon this is such a pretty highlighter you guys put it on my hand and like see if you can see it on camera I don't know if you can see that but it's such a nice shade I used to like stay away from any kind of like cream highlighters because I felt like a lot of the time they would like take your foundation or your concealer off with it. But this one is perfect. I will put my foundation and concealer on and then I'll just like dab my cheeks and like my nose or whatever with the 
this stick here and it looks great like once it's blended out it's such a pretty like kind of like pinky gold highlight and if i can find it on amazon i will link it down below but yeah this is amazing i'm obsessed next is going to be kind of like skincare this is my moisturizer that i use all the time i've been using this brand for so long but like i love it so much i will never use another moisturizer this is the pons dry skin cream i don't have like extremely dry skin but um i find a lot of the times like my nose will get like dry dry spots or like you know my forehead whatever and this is so hydrating and moisturizing it's insane i don't use a primer before foundation ever like i just I don't know, I've tried primers in the past, I found that they kind of just broke me out. Um, but I do use this before I put foundation on and it's perfect. It's so good. If you haven't tried this, go try it. Even if you don't have extremely dry skin, I would say this would still work great for you. Yeah, I don't know if this would work great if you do have like oilier skin, I'm not sure. You can give it a go, but yeah, not sure about that. But if you are on the dry side, this is great. <laughs> So my next favorite is this toner. It's the Witch Hazel Toner. I don't necessarily have like acne prone skin, but I find I do break out when I'm like stressing out. So whenever that happens and my skin is just acting up, I'll go over it with this stuff here on like a little cotton round. I'll use it at night and then when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin just looks so much better. But yeah, if you are somebody that does have you know acne prone skin or you know you get blemishes here and there i would say check this out i don't know if it's going to work for you because obviously things are not going to work for everyone so my last skincare this is not really skincare but i kind of didn't know what category to put it in <laughs> so this is castor oil basically castor oil is really great for um, putting on your eyebrows or your eyelashes for hair growth. I personally use it on my eyebrows and I've been using it for probably, gosh, I want to say maybe five months and I definitely noticed a difference. My eyebrows, like I kind of have sparse eyebrows at the end here and I've noticed a big difference. I do use this on my eyelashes as well. I definitely don't use it as often on my eyelashes just because in all honesty, I forget to, but I heard that this is perfect for eyelash growth if you are somebody with very short lashes. I would definitely check this out. I did get it on Amazon as well, so I'll link it down below. It lasts so long, by the way, like I still have so much of this left. So I only have two favorites left, and one of them is this Bath & Body Works candle right here. This is in the scent Sweet Spearmint. Oh my god. This is such a good scent you guys i love this candle so much it's very like it's light but it's not too light to the point where you can't smell it you know what i mean like i hate when you get a candle you light it and then it doesn't smell you know you're like where'd the scent go but this one is so good i wish you guys could smell this candle because it's so good i'm getting emotional about a candle and my last favorite is kind of random um, but it is this Cliff Bar, and you're probably like, it's empty. Yes, because I ate it. I was hungry, but I saved the packaging. So basically, it's the white chocolate macadamia nut uh, Cliff Bar. These are protein bars. I always eat these after I work out, and first of all, they taste amazing. This is definitely my favorite kind. They have a bunch of different flavors, but the white chocolate macadamia nut is so good, you guys. It's amazing. I know that was like a really random favorite, like probably like, why did you save a wrapper? Because I did. Okay guys, that is what I'm currently loving at the moment. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know to do more. Also, please ignore my voice. My voice is kind of off today. I woke up with kind of a sore throat, so yeah, anyways. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. My light is not close enough to me. I need that lighting. First off, let's just ignore the hair. I had no idea what to do with it today. Why is this earring like annoying me? My highlight today is she's popping. She is popping. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I don't know.
there's a hair on it. Great. 